everybody, welcome back to the channel in an ep another episode of Backyard Bandits. So it's still been a little while since I recorded, but we've got our lances pretty much fixed up with the exception of the awesome. Still needs a bit of repairs. Let's have a look at the command center here. Um, we've got a couple of missions I want to take. We've got Hot Pursuit. I don't think we've done this one before. It's a, it's a two million, um, three and a half skull. Max salvage 313 is through urban environment. My, my guess is that we're probably going to end up with uh, um, dudes in buildings and stuff. So I want to take this one first, only because it's against the Oregon Coalition. Uh, and then we'll take supply interdiction, which is against the pirates. Uh, that way we get our rep back with the Oregon Coalition. Um, pirates we can get back anytime. So we're going to go with these two. Now, I'm going to do this one first. We'll do that this, depending on how long it takes. I don't know. It might be quick. It might not be. Um, but I want to do these two before the end of the month um, because we've got, I've been thinking a lot about what we're going to do with the boar's head as far as melee goes. Um, it's, I, I'm, I don't know. I'm going to toss up. I'm, I, I want to go ahead um it's obviously going to be the melee mech for sure. Um, so, I don't know. I want to go ahead um, and just do this right. I don't want to like half-ass it and just get it up and, and out the door. Uh, so it's going to take a lot of sea bills. It's going to take a million just to fix. Um, but I'm also considering, uh, if we go back here, I'm also considering the archer and pulling the clan XL out of that and putting it in the boar's head. Now, I know we spent a lot of money to get the archer. We, we think we spent 1.7 million. It wasn't too bad to get it up and running, but it might be better to put that XL engine in the boar's head if it's going to be in close. The Kraken we're going to use as an artillery mech, and I think the archer will, will turn into an arrow mech, um, but this one is going to actually end up as a uh, artillery mech, and we're going to leave the XL engine already in it. Um, so yeah, this one will stay kind of as it is, and we'll probably put the TBM-30 in here. It was a uh, um, comment from Fists of Dorn that made me think that's probably a great idea, is to put the TBM-30 in. Now, the only problem with using TBMs is they're relatively easy to intercept um, with AMS, so we're going to need to fire with other people first to eat up some AMS and then fire with the TBMs. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And, it, you know, if it's having an issue, we can swap it out for something else. LRMs or I don't know who, I don't know what. We'll figure something out. Um, so, yeah, that's what that's, uh, that's what we're planning on doing. We just need the C bills to do it. It's a good thing, though, this thing's already got XL and everything built in. So, it'll be a lot cheaper to go ahead and do. Like, this repair on this guy is, what, 342? So, it's not too bad, not compared to the other guy. So, uh, we are at 2.8 million right now. We've got 2 million that we've got to pay out in 5 days. So, we need sea bills and we're going to go ahead and do that today. Uh, Black Knight Old has only got this because we're underweight slightly. Um, it's just because it's maxed out currently. Um, so, there was also a comment about this Black Knight that maybe we shouldn't have... I, I, I don't know. I'm not convinced, but we, maybe we shouldn't have the, the tracker sensors on here. It gives us minus accuracy at short range, but I don't want to be in short range with this guy. I, I just don't. I want to be at like medium or, or long and extreme ranges firing um, rather than getting close to the enemy. So, I mean, yeah, we can get close with this guy, but is it is it good? You know what I mean? Is Are we like... I don't know. I think we're better staying around 300, you know, 300 to 400 meters away than getting in real close. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, that's 10 hexes, 10, 10 to 15 hexes away, right? Um, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe we do swap these out rather than tracker sensors. Maybe we go ahead and drop in, uh, where is it here? The uh, suggestion was uh, uh, sniper sensors, I think it was. Um, for increased sight range and increased sensor range. I guess that's a possibility. Um, and increased sensor detection? Ah, maybe. That's a possibility. Powered sensors gives you three to, plus three to sensor detection. Increased sensor range. So that might be a better one. 
allows to detect minefields in 120 mm radius white dotted circle so that's not too, maybe that one I don't know we'll see how it goes we'll just see how it goes okay uh, enough chatting let's get in and do some fighting here so I think we're gonna take in the second lance minus the awesome in this battle uh, it's a city fight we're supposed to chase down the enemy I'm hoping that we can do that without too much of a problem um, I'm considering leaving the avatar out uh, although maybe having the LRMs might be a good thing but the bushwhacker does so much damage when it when it gets into range um, and it's relatively fast too so I, you know what we'll keep that in go with the three main guys the archer and the bushwhacker because sledge is down out of the battle too so we'll go with five on this one I think we'll probably be fine let's see how it goes all right command center hot pursuit let's this pursue these guys accept this mission and we'll flush out the main lance here okay so lance two uh, we'll just put scramble lance two with the archer and lance one we've got our main team uh, earthquake uh, focus where are you buddy Swifty and oh man I want to put Jaws in there but I don't think it's I wonder if we put Squire in there this time we're down sledge right so let's put Squire in I think that's probably the right move and then we're gonna go with the Victor Battlemaster a Black Knight and let's go with the whacker yeah I'm not feeling 100% confident on this but we're gonna go let's do this yeah I know it's underweight all right here we go okay AMS protected ACM prote or ECM protected so there that's where the lance was hit them hard and get the hell out of here eh? wow it's getting picked up way over there are we ah human civilization now this is more like it uh, Okay, let's push down this road over here. Move order received. You betcha. Consider it done. Okay, and I know we're grouping up here. But we'll be splitting up pretty soon. Hope we get some use out of this archer. Wow. They're in the building. Well, this should be fun. Your entire lance must survive. Destroy coalition to support lance one. Coalition to support lance two. And the coalition forces. Okay. Okay, we got a fire starter. Looks like a stalker. Barely hit, Commander. All right. What's up, boss? What do we got here? Fire starter, fire starter, stalker. Three fire starters and a stalker. Oh, I see. These guys are all. We got three separate buildings. Four separate buildings. Interesting. Okay. Let's um. Get 
get over here. Looks like a locust here too. Yeah. All right, let's smoke them as we go. Uh, 60 on this building. Turn that off. Let's just go with two and make sure we kill it. Okay. We're going to send the archer in to play stompy stompy robots on those uh, mechs back there. We got to go fast too. Okay, let's get to here. On my way, double time. Now, I could have just ignored these buildings, but I think that's the wrong move. Um, Flamer platoon. Target marked. See ya. I could do this all day. Good. You're probably going to have to. Right here. How much does this building have? A hundred, eh? Should be able to take it down. Oh, we gotta move first before we fire. Meh. Yes, Smash through everything. Alright, take this building down. Pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. Um, did it not destroy the building? Oh my god, really? Yeah, he's making the smart move. You better run. Oh, Bushwhacker. Looks like he's got some ATMs. Alright. Oh, it's a catapult. Never mind. Never mind. Or just coming for your ass. What can I do for you? God, it's almost a waste to use the VSPLs on this building, but no need to tell me twice. That's the one, right? Yeah. Kill it with fire. You betcha. Payday. Looks like they got one guy left. Save for the battle master. Oh, what's this? Uh, Arania? No, it's the regular commando. God, these guys are going to get shredded. Receiving. Although I really shouldn't speak too loudly. It's when things go badly. Let's finish this guy off. God, look at this. The, da the damage on this thing. See ya. Screw you guys. Destroyed. They were completely obliterated. Alright, now we can focus on these guys. So that's the crap of pulled back there. Is that the stalker? No, it's somebody else. Okay. So they still got 12 guys plus anybody else in the buildings. Which could technically pop up at any time. So we want to stay where we can all defend each other. Okay, I want to wind this rack up this turn and pull somebody down. Let's see if we can get somebody good here. 
Uh, that's the fire starter. Now he's close to the archer, so we'll leave him for the archer. This one's 48. Oh, stalker. What's up, buddy? That's a, this is a no-brainer. We can do some severe damage to the stalker early. We're going to go ahead and do that. Confirm. Let's go ahead and fire at this guy. Beautiful. Inflicted some heavy damage. We can pull the 85 tonner down early. And then that catapult. These guys are done for sure. C3MS protected. So I've been thinking a lot about how we're going to lay out the art, the uh, the second atlas with the uh, sniper artillery piece. And I'm wondering if we need to convert the lamb mech Waiting for orders. into a targeter for that thing. Mm, that'll be a kill on this guy probably. Let's do it. So we would put an uh, electronic warfare suite on the um, on the lamb. Yep, and then um, we could jump in, use ECCM to defeat their um, any ECM or stealth they have. Then also throw a tag and a narc beacon on it, so we can tag somebody, and then use the artillery units to just just grind them to dust. That's a possibility. Although I don't know if it's if it's like then we would need at least a couple of artillery units. Which could be Commander. Mm, Locked on. Now is he in range? He's not in range. Is it because our TSMs aren't activated? Yep. Yep. Probably. 67. Yep. Here we go. Well, the best thing that fire starter could do is heat me up. Okay, so the missile unit was a light MML carrier, and it's got mines. So isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, that supercharger makes all the difference on these Black Knights. Just being able to get them into combat like this. I mean, look at this. That's a kill shot. Let's take it and get rid of this guy. Okay. Big unit down. Did you see that? Did you see it? Yeah, we saw it. This is supposed to be an elite lance, I don't know. Doesn't seem like it's an elite. Now I'm gonna use the uh, PPCs to fire on the same oh, maybe not. On the same fire start. Oh he hasn't jumped yet, okay. To see if we can clear these minefields. PPCs are supposed to be able to clear minefields. Not the best place to move, but we're going to move here. Oh yeah. Uh, this should probably be a kill. Well, guess we have to hit the ground. Not sure how much damage this archer is going to take, but we have hardened armor, so I mean. We've got twice the armor in the legs, which I think has 130 per leg, so it would, should be 260 per leg. There's also a, uh, we're talking about, uh, if you haven't seen the comments section about talking about the atlases for the melee atlas, it's, there's a discussion going on about whether or not we use hardened armor on it or feral lamellar. Now feral lamellar gives you minus 20%. Another leopard inbound, eh? Well, of course there is. It's fine. 
Uh, more reinforcements. Okay. So how does it tell you? This doesn't say how many turns, eh? Hostile drop pods. Okay, so we need to move over to the right here. Right here. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, feral MLR versus hardened armor. So the hardened okay. armor doubles your armor value, but it also doubles the weight of your armor, right? So you're adding a crap ton of weight. Hmm. That route or this route? No, this route. Let's see if you can grind this guy up. Uh, let's sensor lock him first. Got a lock. Evasion unchanged, eh? Okay, well, that's fine. Firing. Firing. Yeah. AMS doesn't do, do very much against MRM-30s at point-blank range. Um, yeah. yeah, so the Feral Lamellar... Okay, 1 times 77. That's a lot of mines. I'm gonna reserve you. I gotta. I'm gonna try something here. Um, so the Feral Lamellar does minus 14% damage um, and doesn't add the weight, but it does add 50% to structure, I believe. So I, I, I'm kind of at a toss-up. I'm thinking that we go damage reduction. Um, but I'm not 100% convinced. That could be sold either way. I think it's really going to depend on how much the other components going into it um, weigh. Once we know that, then it'll it'll be uh, it'll just tell us which one we're going to go with. A pair of mag shots, smalls. This guy's too close. So let's get rid of this guy. I'm going to turn this down now. We want to have ammo for later. Actually, let's go down to three, and we'll leave the thunderbolt off for now. We don't need that fire the rest. We got more guys to shoot at him here in a second, so. Yeah, so I'm, I, I could be sold either way, but like I said, it's all going to come down to, I think, how much weight. The double, because like, we're going to have max armor. On uh, a 100 ton mech, that's a lot of armor. And if we double the weight, it could be a real problem. So, we got to figure out what we're going to do with that. Plus, we, I, I thought about having the combat shield, which would be minus 14%. So he took 13 from just jumping into a minefield. Ha! Send me a real opponent. And it took a lot of heat damage, too. Well, at least you're warming me up. Why you would... Wow, I don't need to move. I can just punch this guy. Gonna try targeting the uh, ground, though, with the... Uh, the battle master, see if I can get a path out of there. I hear you. Um, the SPLs are better if we don't move, so let's see if we can get a good shot off here. That's the commando. Yeah, not bad. This warlord, this we're gonna go after the. Uh, we're just not gonna move. Actually, can we kill that commando? Nah, he's moved already. 55. This guy's a shred, but we're going to be punching him. Well, you know what? No, we're not. Let's kill this guy. Because then I can clear a path to the archer and the archer can run out of there. He's going to try and close with the enemy. Hopefully the MMLs uh, or the launchers will fire the mines at the archer. And if the archer is approaching these guys, then hopefully that'll help. Um, help us out in the long run. Let's get into here. Beat the cake. Now PPCs are supposed to clear minefields, supposedly, supposedly. And we're going to target the ground right here. Confirm. Oh yeah, man. Open the door. All the archers gotta do is walk through it. Still haven't had a chance to melee anybody with this thing. 
Hopefully we're nice and toasty and we can just like smash this guy right now. Now he's gonna be over there by himself, so ah fuck. Uh, I'm listening. Forty one on the way. We're not in range either. Are we too hot? We're not that hot. I don't know why it's uh Yeesh. Get over here. Okay, now we can have fire on. This building with both of these. Actually, we're just one. Lock in target. I believe that is done with that. Got that right. TSM's on now. Here they come. That's ominous, is it? Well, they look like big boys. We're gonna rotate left and smash these guys real fast. We have to. Okay, they've got their sensors. Jamming us. I wonder if we can just finish up these guys over here, though. Before those guys get sight on. Because they're where? Right here. And if they're heavier... Okay, let's do this. We're going to try that. We're going to try and smash the guys over there first. So they've got an Orion, Crusader, Ostrock Mark II, and a Griffin. Okay, so, I mean, not sure why I was so worried. That's probably a shot in the back of the archer. Forty-eight in the locust, eh? Alright, let's just fire at the locust. Throw up the thunderbolt. Copy that. Nice shooting, man. I think I hit something good. What if the archer can clean up that side if we can get into melee range? Yeah, we're in melee range, or melee ability now. But I think we want to come from this side. Flames on the way, that's beautiful. Let's move up and attack. Yep. 239 it said for damage, let's see what we get out of this. Gonna get physical. Yeah, it's a kill. Yep, that one's done for. Can you imagine what the... Uh, <laughs> the, uh, what the the boar's head is gonna look like, eh? Oh yeah. Oh, gotta make sure we turn that off. Let's see if we can clean this guy up. Firing everything I've got. Good damage, though. Torso's gone. Is he going down? Yep. Beautiful. So I think this archer should be able to clear this side up. If we can get in on that catapult. We're in range right now. I think we're still pretty warm too, so... As long as we don't get missiled to death. Oh, this guy's moving in on us, which is a kind of a good thing, because then maybe that'll mean that the... Uh, well, doesn't mean anything. I was going to say, maybe it'll mean that they don't use uh, fast cam on us, but I think they probably will anyway. Alright, can we get you to a position where those guys can't see you? Maybe? I think we're going to help out over here. Then we can do a flank to the uh, left. Just take pot shots at this guy. All weapons are ghosts. 
I think we're going to push the uh, MMO carrier next with that uh, the bushwhacker. We might be able to kill it in one, sh one turn. We can get some good shots on it. What are you up to? Whole 14 points, huh? Good luck with that. All right. Uh, yes, come in. Is there a way we can get? I guess we have to sprint over here. Do this. We might get lucky and clear up this commando. Uh, I'm going to save that for the other guys, though. Could, we could damage that guy. That's the guy on the ground. Well, let's see if we can kill him. There you go. Whoops. Sorry about that, buddy. Yeah, well, I think that's the first mech you've killed by a melee, so I think the rest of the team is still a little pissed. I've been sensor locked. Trying to get some height on us. That Orion's dead meat. I'll move out and brace. Good luck with that. Oh, we got more guys back there on the right. I don't know if you can see him back here, right here. Well, at least it uh, landmined all their guys, too. What is that guy? Centurion. It's got an ultra light MML carrier. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is like... <laughs> we better start killing a lot of people fast. <laughs> oh, we're so dead. Fuck this catapult. Um, how much back armor does he have? 45, 57. Ah, oh, God. Not worried about him. Uh, it's either these... Okay, it's you. That was crappy. That hit something good. Okay. Oh, he did have one evasion. So if I step forward and melee this guy, chance for 41, eh? It's only 132 damage, though. TSMs are off. I gotta move. If I don't move, I'm screwed. I could just turn and punch this guy, though. 155. What's 132 on this guy, though? See ya. I think that oh, went through his arm. Arm torso CT. God, that guy got murdered. So what did he take? He took heat and stuff too. So maybe the archer can run through that. Okay, so we're in good range here. Yeah, see this is the reason, okay, I know, 
like I want to keep it at this range because the chances to hit are so good with the VSPLs that if, if I get any closer it'll drop because of the targeting computer but I would rather have the plus two to hit at this range I think I don't know maybe I'm wrong convince me maybe I'm wrong Uh, Narc LBX 10. What do you got? Two larges. LRM 10 PPC. So you're the standard Griffin. So let's just go after this guy. All weapons are go. Reduce damage. All right. Yes, Commander. Ninety-nine percent chance with the rack. Moving to position. Oh yeah, this guy's braced, that's why. That's why so less damage. I want this guy gone though. So let's do that. Alright, we got a firing line going right here. Let's fuck this guy up. That guy's got one turn left. Solid connection on that one. I, like the, I like the color scheme on that. The paint scheme's nice. Yep, thanks for showing up. Okay, you're going after that MML launcher. Well, that was the Centurion. Yeah, you can't detect them. Which is why the it's whatever is in the archer's range. Oof. Nice shots though. Reporting. Minimal damage. Hopefully they get a Victor model up soon. Light damage, Commander. So we we have upgraded updated to Hotfix 3, I think, for 1.7, is it whatever it is, 7.10, whatever the newest version is. I didn't check what it fixed. I'm sure there's just minor changes. Huh. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? The fight's just getting started. I'm showing minor damage. Fight's just getting started. Can't wait till this guy walks. Nope. He's decided he's better off not to move. Alright. Getting awfully crowded. Well, we'll thin it out. Oh, what's that? Oh, we got our rifleman. Um, no, that's a Jagger mech. Because that's it looks like an archer. Maybe a Crusader, I don't know. And then a Stealth Bomber. Fucking Stealth Bombers, of course. Good to go. We gotta clear this side up fast, guys. It's gotta happen. Rotary's jammed. Okay, we're going to take shots on the Orion. Oof, that's terrible. Alright. Oh, no, it's not. That is the Orion. I thought it was this guy back here was. Beautiful. Uh, we're not going to warlord it because... Nope. And then we'll hold on to this. Okay, two hits. Oh, now he's stressed out, eh? We gotta pull the bushwhacker back. We gotta pull the archer back. Well, I don't know. Catapult's taking a lot of damage. Is using ATMs? I think it is. It's gotta be. How's this thing doing with legs here? It's taking a fair bit of damage. I'm just worried about. Yeah. 
Temple. Yeah, you think you can go that way. You can't. It's mines. We gotta kill this fucking guy right here. I've got a sensor lock. Okay, now it said the MMLs are out. Now I have no idea if that's true or not. See what we do here. 16. Okay, not too bad. Let's fuck this guy up. Okay. Report one left. Bushwhacker versus Centurion. That should be a good fight. So we're going to rotate the um, archer to go after the uh, catapult. All right, scrambly do. So he's damaged on the left back side. I don't think it matters what side we attack him from. We're gonna go from here. It means that's less of a chance of us them shooting us in the back. Uh, 132. All right, we'll take it. Ooh. Well, we got the right side. Well, the landmines are keeping me nice and toasty. Okay. Minimal damage on that hit. They're down to what? Two, four, eight, twelve, thirteen. Okay, that ain't bad. Waiting on you, Commander. We haven't detected any more uh, in the buildings or anything, so. Moving to position. Let's give it to him. Commencing Alpha Strike. What the more? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. He's a stick now. I don't know who's next. Crusader, maybe? Crusader's got what? LRM 15? Oh, he's got a bunch of missile pods, so. Here you go, moron. Let's get rid of that Orion. Get some stability back. I know we're bunching up here, but we're fine. God, this battle master. I hope we can salvage that. Destroyer of worlds. Okay, Prowler. Nothing. So Centurion, where I'm worried about, I think he's got an Ultra 10. He could do good damage over there. Oh, Grasshopper. Okay, that was what that was. That was what that was. Going with the melee attack, huh? That's all right. Minimal damage. That's all right. You go with that melee attack. Oh, his Ultra 10 was jamming. That's why. Nobody gives him the raspberry. Who's that? Oh, that's the uh, locust. Oh, Scrambly, you going first? Really? What's our heat like? Shitty. Get rid of this guy. Got to punch that other arm off, huh? Oh, improved ATM 9 clan, of course. <sighs> Anywhere but that arm. Anywhere but the arm and it would have been good. This is forest, right? Yeah, it is. This way or no, I don't think so. Like that. Bust Back to the building. Bustana. 
What's up, buddy? Hopefully that makes him run. Inflicted some heavy damage. LRM 10 destroyed. Beautiful. Ready for order. Although it's the Ultra that I'm worried about. Um, I could probably leave these guys to their own devices and move over here. But I don't think so. I think we need to finish these guys up here. So, uh, I think the Crusader's next. So let's move back here. On my way. Let's get that rack dialed up again. Click, click. I mean, Thunderbolt, we got that minimum range on the Thunderbolt, right? This guy's unstable. And that's really good chances to hit. Plus, we've got Warlord. So let's go ahead with the Warlord. Let's go after the Ostrock. See if we can pull him out of here. At least we'll make him unstable. I got him. Okay, good damage. Ready for order. Focus. Gonna focus fire the Ostrock. He's unstable right now. Get our stability back by just walking forward. See ya. Yeah, somebody's wishing he was home in bed right about now. I hear ya. Affirmative. Should be in good range. Yep, perfect range. Gonna hang on to the uh, Warlord because this guy's almost dead. Boom. Yeah, this second lance is working well now, I think. I mean, we're not fighting tough opponents. We'll see how it goes when the opponents get a little tougher. But right now, I mean, we're down to... We're, I mean, we're only running with five mechs, and we took on, what, 20 guys? Granted, they're staggered, and... Their firepower is basically basic model. But still, not bad. I think we're shredding probably about as fast as we can. Archer's working pretty well. We need to get a good melee pilot, though. I don't think Scramble's good for a melee. I'm probably going to re... Um, I think I can re-spec her. Ow. So we'll re-spec her, and uh, we'll go down the missile line for her. And then we'll try and find a good melee pilot. I wonder if the... I, I don't know how, how hot the archer is right now. Probably not that hot. I kept the double heat... I know, I, I know you guys have already told you guys this, but I kept the double heat sink kit on it in case we ran into a flamer unit that was going to completely bake us. So at least if I don't fire anything, I can sink 60 heat per turn, which is good. Um, ninety-one, ninety-five. Two SRM sixes are down. He's got a flail though. Ooh, he's got a flail. I think we better shoot this guy in case he decides to melee with us. Although he looks like he's braced there. Thirty-four damage, eh? It's the same with this guy. Oh, it's ammo 34. There. Look at the wrong thing. 42. That's fine. We're going to shoot this guy, I think. Okay, solid hits. What can I do for you? We make him unstable. I don't think we did. Uh-huh. Nope, but this should make him unstable. I think we blew up the building around him, didn't we? No? Okay, he's un now he's, well, Commander. yeah, now he's unstable. Hmm. That could be a Centurion kill. Let's try and take it. This guy's in a bad position right now. Yep. One 
Never turn your back to a bushwhacker, man. Never turn your back to a bushwhacker, ever. Doesn't matter even if it's the stock model, it's just devastating. I don't think it's going to matter on this. Sensors locked off. Oh, yeah, it did. Took one thing of evasion off. That it matters that much, but uh, let's go ahead. Of course, take the leg off now. That was a critical hit. Well, you just <laughs> I don't blame you, buddy. <laughs> that art the archer's relentless. Why he's not firing his PPC? I don't know. Was it jammed? Did that say it was un it was jammed? Maybe. Yeah. So now I understand why it's a two million dollar uh, payout. But we're managing this pretty well. These guys haven't moved close enough that we're really worried about them yet. The Nidhogg, though, it's got to go. It's got to go. Got to go. Yeah. What can I do you for? It's always five bucks, buddy. I keep telling you that. Oh, he may not have been able to shoot us with the PPC because uh, he can't have a direct line of sight on us. All right, murder this guy, will you? Locking in all weapons Come on, bail out. Report critical hit. I'm loving the loadout in the Battlemaster now. Putting those three snub-nosed PPCs on there was definitely the right move. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're going to get you out of there. Hang on. We needed, to, we needed to cripple that side first. Well, he bailed. Oh, yeah, man. What do you mean, get out of there? We're not getting it. We're not going anywhere. Fucking get out of there. What is, what's wrong with you? You know better than that. You know better than that. Do I want to try and kill a vehicle from over here? What's the chance to hit? That's a pretty damn good chance. But I think it's got a lot more armor than I think it does. So let's go after the Crusader. Just gonna move, we're going to start moving this way. Should be able to clean these last two guys up here, I think. Gonna dial this back to three. We're gonna need some for the Jager mech, I think. Okay, he's unsteady. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, let's burn through his side. Out. Then we're moving the battle master out of here. Let's try and kill this guy. All are yep. There you go. 122. Solaris spikes too. Ooh, we might get some good loot for the uh, melee mech. Okay, you're gonna fight with the conquistador. You hear me? Confirm. Nothing. Dang it. Wasn't expecting you to hit. What's up, Commander? There we go. We can see the prowler from here. Cool. That might be a kill if we can get on him. Oh, let's try. Let's try for the kill. Don't know how much armor he's got, but uh Oh, not a whole lot. Beautiful. Okay, there's another lance gone. One for the scrappy. Alright, they got five left. Yeah, these guys are cleaning up real nice. All right, we gotta pull Squire back. Oh, Jagermack just uh, 
stayed still. Okay, he's bracing. Oh no, the Agarmac didn't stay still. Okay, he looks like he's... Is he the miss? Is he a missile version? Oh, he's got fucking rocket packs. That's actually a pretty darn good loadout. Yeah, you, you, you need to not be there anywhere. On my way, double time. You're back up to here. Sensor locked in Nidhog. This guy's got a pretty good loadout too. Alright, we can kind of see this guy, so we're going to fire on him. Okay, he had a little bit of AMS. Ooh, shot down 16 of them, eh? 16 of them! That's actually a pretty good chance to hit. Wow, the heat's going up so small. We need to do something about that. Lock in target. All right, one of them hit. That's not, not that's not bad. That's not bad. What can I do for you? It's you and the Griffin, buddy. Monoway Griffino. Ooh. We we don't even have the height advantage, and we've got really great chances to hit. I think this is I think we're gonna stick with the um critical hit. Yes, Commander. With the recon sensors because the whole goal of that guy, I don't want him to close. I know he's got the armor that can regenerate, but he's kind of like the guy that I want to have around at the end of the fight, you know what I mean? He's the late game uh hammer, so to speak, that I can pull out. Beautiful. You know. He's the ace in the hole, and if I get him in there too early and he gets shredded, then he's kind of a weak, weak-ass mech. If he kind of stays in the middle of the pack and, and pew-pews people, you know, then I can move, like, the Battlemaster and the uh, Victor up a little bit. Uh, I don't want you too close. Just back up for a second. Wait, uh, that's our... The left side that's damaged, so we're turning the right side to them. Okay, let's back up a little bit. We'll be moving out in a second. Once we get some PPCs and stuff on these guys, this Jagermax got to go down. He's got a pretty darn good loadout, though. I don't know what the archer's got. Oh shit! No wonder he hasn't fired yet. I wonder he hasn't fired yet. I think that uh, archer is probably scarier than the Agarmac at this point. Let's hammer him. I bet you're gonna like this. Man, all the big ones hit. That's nice. Alright, we can't close with these guys. I copy. And then we're going to Really? We mean no weapon could fire. Affirmative. There we go, right in front of me. Beautiful. All right, do your best, buddy. Do your best. Waiting on you, Commander. Coordinates received. We're still in good range here. 
Oof, maybe not. Commencing alpha strike. Oh, we hit with the, one of the big ones, though. Tags on him. What's up, boss? Copy that. All right, buddy, wind that rack up. These guys are not in optimum firing position quite yet, but they will be next turn, so they gotta die now. This guy's gotta go down hard. Okay, good damage, but not quite enough. Ready for orders. Uh, we're gonna reserve you. Let's hang on, buddy. Hang on! Yeah, he's not quite there yet. Orders. Position confirmed. Plus he's got s massive sensor uh, deprivation from the stacking uh, sensors being hampered by all these PPCs. Oh, he's got a lot of armor, man. He must have hardened armor. So oh no, we're just stripping it all off. Never mind. <laughs> oh, he's almost done. He's almost done. Commander. Great chances to hit. We're taking them. Okay, one of them hit. One of the big ones. That's a critical hit. Receiving you. Acknowledged. Uh, we're jammed, but we're going after this guy anyway. Roger that. Ah, the freaking missile missed. Scored a critical hit. Panic level critical. Commander. Do we risk it for the biscuit? We don't have the heat on yet. Go to here. Got a plan, Stan. Now we can get through there. Target destroyed. Turn our heat up a little bit. Uh, it doesn't say the TSM's on, though. Crap. Gonna need to find a way to crank it up a little more, I think. Um... Okay, because we should be able to take this guy out now. Hopefully. Yep. Okay. Oh, he's got battle fists. Yeah, thanks for showing up for the fight. Hopefully you can take this guy out this turn. Warlord it, cause screw you. Here it comes. See ya. Bang! You're dead. You got that right. They're down to two. Yeah, you you know you're not supposed to stay over there. That archer's coming around that corner. Yeah, that archer decided to move forward. That Jager mech and the and the uh, our, their archer would have shredded him for sure. I'm glad I did what I did. I'm gonna give him the big At least they're running through their minefield. My TSM should come on this turn. Firing at him. Huh. Miss. I hope. 
Waiting for orders. Position confirmed. All right, full rack, please. And here it comes. Target confirmed. Ooh, head hit. Nice. I hear you. Well, no matter which way we go, can't get a good line of sight. So we'll move over here. Take shots at this guy. Another head hit. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Waiting for orders. This side's gone. Let's grind it down. Come on, get the kill. There it is. Tangled down. Yeah. Moving to position. All right, I think this was, I don't want to call this a textbook battle, but it was pretty darn good. I think we just had the right amount of firepower in the right positions. And it really is, this one really needed a long range fight. If we had closed, we would have been in big trouble, I think, overall. Standing by. So I'm kind of glad we didn't close with them. I mean, with the exception of the left, the left flank, which we had to close with, I think. So that we're only firing on one set of guys at a time. I love how this last unit has positioned itself so that neither side is going to take a back hit. I copy. Oh, you can't... Oh, you're on a platform. I did not see that. Ah, that's my bad. That's my bad. Sensors locked on. I thought you could run around there. Oh, well. Here we go. We'll take the overheat. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You'll sink that in a second. Waiting for order. Uh, let's see if we can get him from the side. We sure can. Let's burn through his side and kill this guy. All right, here it comes. Firing full complement on him. That enough? Not quite. Nice. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, I don't. Let's turn this off. <laughs> Twenty percent chance of failure. At least it's zero in the start. That's all that matters. All right, this should do it. Yep, there it is, folks. Twenty up, twenty down. Mission successful. All right, here. Let's see what we got here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent more, which is pretty good. 855,000. That's pretty good. I don't know how much damage we took, but I don't think it was very much. Look at the kills in the Conquistador now. I mean, granted, he's moving slower than the rest, so he's firing later. But still, those big 130 hits are like just devastating to the enemy. I should have checked on the archer there, but I didn't. All right, let's go down. I know we got some melee items down here. So I want to have a look at those. Grenade Inferno, eh? HVAC 20, Integrated Laser M AMS. Um, another medium VSPL. We got one of these still, don't we? Uh, MMLs, I don't think we're interested in anyway. Okay, we're, there's the Battle Fist. What is this? Plus 10% melee damage. I don't think this is as good as what we have. Or maybe it, no, we've got the uh, retractable blades, which I think are better. I think they do five base melee damage, so it's a little better, I think, than what this is. Battle computer tracking is a possibility. 
Emergency cooling systems, Excel, Clan Excel engine, okay, that's uh, a no brainer. Minus 15 heat per turn, minus 10% weapon heat generator, that's a possibility too. Multi track, we've got a couple of these, I think, yes. Dreadnought gyro, grants sure footing when walking. Entrenched after walking, sorry. Increased damage reduction from guarded to 40% from 20. Minus 5% damage taken. Oh, that's so good for the melee mech. And I don't see... Oh, radical heatsink kit double. Okay, not prototype. Minus 20 heat per turn when active. Reactive plating, kinetic resistance, energy resistance. I don't like offsetting balance with one rather than the other. Solaris spikes, quantity 2. Minus 5% melee damage taken, plus 3% melee damage. So that's, that's not anywhere near as good as it used to be, I don't think. Um, half a ton. So full ton for 6% melee damage increase. One slot each. It's a possibility. Although I didn't really see anything else that was amazing. I mean, it would be nice to have that as an option. The minus 10% melee damage would be nice. Although I'm wondering if the clan exchanger is probably better. Or we could take the XL engine to sell. Because this really doesn't seem all that exciting to me. I mean, minus 10% melee damage, sure, but how often... Are we, I mean, I guess if we go up against another big melee mech. If we're slugging it out, minus 10% damage could end up being a lot. But if we go with the, the kinetic armor... I don't think we can get the combat shield in there, though. Because we want to put the axe in. We might be able to get both in. None of this makes any diff difference if we can't actually pull... You know what? We. I'm going to take this because... The, this is the first time I've seen them in all of our battles. So... Um, the chance of us finding these again later is going to be almost 0%, I would imagine. So, um, XL engines and stuff we can find all the time to sell. So we're going to keep these. Alright, Archer part, Crusader part, Orion part. Large laser can go right away. These can go right away. Oh, we did get the XL engine. Look at that. There you go. That can go. Heat sink can go. Those can go. Spiked helmet. One injury resist. Minus one to gunnery, minus one to piloting, though. Minus one to tactics. For plus 10% melee damage. I don't think I'm interested in this, and I'll tell you why. Uh, tactics is going to affect sensors. Piloting is going to affect our ability to stand up. Gunnery I don't really care about. I would rather have the tactics and piloting. I think, than the bonus melee damage, because we're going to get melee damage from other stuff. And if, if you think about 10%, it might be, end up being like 30 damage or so, when the TSMs are on, 30 or 40 damage, but if we're hitting for over 300 anyway, I'm just, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sell that. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's too late now anyway. <laughs> I was going to say maybe I should just keep it, but it's gone. All right, let's continue. Oh, 122,000, that's actually nothing for comparison to some of the other battles we had that were pretty big. Excellent. Now we've got enough time for one more. So we made uh, one point, almost 1 1.2 million on that one. So that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, I'm going to check the mech bay out if there's anything that... Uh, actually, let's just do that now before we, we, we sign off here. Just to see if there's anything to assemble. So let's go to storage. I don't think so. So I don't think we've got enough Crusader parts or any of that stuff. So let's go to Heavy. Uh, Orion we know about already. Uh, those are the Warhammer parts. Oh, we got enough to put a Grasshopper together, eh? Mjolnir? Really? 
Um, did we do that? I don't know. That archer, are we really, if we if we had found that archer, like the 6W earlier, with the 10 missile slots and the 4 laser slots, if we had found this earlier, this would have been a perfect replacement for our current archer. But as it stands, it's, you know, I mean, it's pretty much obsolete right now. But uh, let's let's assemble the mule there. Um, yeah. Now we're not going to keep it. But I want to see what it's got on it. Uh, we might, you know what? Let's just see what it's like, because it might be a replacement for the um, the Avatar at 70 tons, or the Bushwhacker. But the, the I like the speed of the Bushwhacker. We're going to lose that. That's the one thing you lose when you go up in weight, right? So it's got nothing on it. So we repair this. Aerial Assault. Plus 10% jump attack damage. Fire control sister system champion. Accuracy with Goss rifles and PPC accuracy. Plus 15 PPC damage plus 15% Goss rifle damage. I remember having one of these back in the day. 420 and if we max out the armor, 446. We've got to put a core in it. Oh, we don't need a core. Sorry, we need, but we would want to get a gyro and st or a XL engine and stuff in there to make this thing work. Because right now it's only got less than 20 tons available. I mean, with structure, just for the sake of argument, structure. Let's say we went with Faro. I mean, it doesn't leave much room for weaponry. take these guys out it's only got one ballistic hard point though so we'd have one I mean we could run with one Gauss rifle and one PPC but really is it any better that's there's the question right is it going to be any better than what we've already got this one is one evasion pips so this one would be, would be the one that we would use 15% jam chance though. What's the jam chance on this? Zero. So I think we would go with that one. Yeah, I mean, it might be viable without it. And then if we had a bunch of snub noses, which we don't have right now, oh, PPC here. Yeah, we don't. We, we, all we got is a crap PPC. But if we had three snub noses, right? Put an XL engine in it and a bunch of heat sinks. But you know what? Right now, we've got too much to worry about with the two atlases. So, how much is that adding? Eighty-six thousand. Um, what's it costing us here? Neil near forty-six thousand. So we'll leave it in st we'll leave it in the bay for now. We'll leave it there because maybe we'll do something with it. I don't know yet. Um, it's all going to come down to sea bills, and right now we're we're working on getting sea bills for the atlases. So we'll leave it there. All right. So I'm ending the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.